Hello dear ones, it's Hannah. So here's the second part of the swap that I did with Angie recently. Um, Angie Duller, my friend and fellow practitioner in Sedona, Arizona. And I wanted to share with you this segment of our swap which in which she brought forward information about um, taking joy in the things that you do every day, about backdrop people, and then a message from Dolores Cannon for the collective. So I hope you enjoy it. Humans in general feel like work is like a dirty four letter word for many of you. And so you live, you know, eight hours or more a day in a hell like existence of either hating your work or just not even really liking it very much. And some of you even go home at the end of the day and worry about it. And you use things like television, alcohol, other addictions, and sex, and other negative things. We're not saying sex and television is negative. We're just saying that when you use things to escape, that it becomes a negative, like a crutch. And what we really want humans to do is really want you to enjoy your work, enjoy every aspect of your life that you do. Mm -hmm doing the dishes think of something you don't enjoy but you enjoy it because you you love feeling the water across your hands you enjoy the meal that you ate before that you enjoy smelling all the spices around you that you used we want you to enjoy everything that you do you enjoy your work you get the pleasure out of serving the people that you serve at your work you allow the love to flow from you to them and them to you just look at everything in a different way. Are there backdrop people? There are. And what are they? They're people to essentially kind of fill in the holes, fill in the spaces. You're showing Angie about 75% of the people she's interacted with in her lifetime, kind of filling in the holes, filling in the spaces. We don't want to say that they're they don't have an essence of something, but they don't have an essence of a complete soul. They don't have an essence of a complete, uh, what you would consider a complete human being with a complete path and mission, reason for being here. Um, complete, you know, contracts and plans. They're just kind of here to fill the space, maybe give you a little information, maybe to give you a little bit of trauma. Um, Maybe to be a friend for a short period of time, but then move on. Maybe to be someone to um, cause you a painful relationship that you can learn from and then move on. It's just they, they serve a purpose for you in this lifetime. Whether it's filling in space, causing overpopulation, to causing a trauma, to giving you a, a little bit of information but they're not really a true source being with a path to be here on this earth for a long time assisting the earth in a positive way if that makes if that makes sense yeah. we don't discount them as being any less than anyone else but they're not a complete and whole soul within a body if you want to look at it like that are they a partial soul it's like they're a partial soul. It's like they're an essence of something, but you could look at them kind of like as a new being um, here to serve a certain purpose, to kind of try out being on earth. Like, I'm going to come here, try this out for a little while, um, serve my purpose of bringing you some information or serve my purpose of coming here, causing some trauma to your life or serve the purpose of coming here, being part of the overpopulation on the planet, part of the problem on the planet, um, but not here to make a big, long-lasting, deep impact on a person or on a planet, on the planet. Hmm. They can make a lasting impact on you, but they're not, they're not here learning a deep lesson within themselves. It's like they're not really a deep person if you were to meet them some of them you would meet they just don't seem like they don't seem like they're all here or they mm -hmm. don't seem deep or they don't seem like they care you know um 
there's just so many different aspects. They may not, um, they may not seem like someone who cares about the planet. They may not seem like someone who cares about having a lasting, long lasting, loving, deep relationship. Now you may see someone who's been married for 30 years, but they don't really have a long, deep, loving connection with their spouse. You know, it gets kind of difficult for us to explain. There's so many different roles that they serve. You know, you may see them having a long, let's say they have a long marriage and their children seem pretty happy. They seem pretty happy, but there's really not this level of depth. Look at yourself and your own twin flame relationship, for example. There's a level of depth, even though there's a, there can be conflict mm -hmm. level of love and connection that you can't you can't explain it to a non-twin um so there's there's many different roles they play but there's not this deep old heavy soul that many of you have here and will they be going through ascension and moving to new earth as well no no, we would say it's more like they're moving to extinction. They're moving to being removed from the planet. Mm -hmm. Trying to say it as nicely as possible. Mm -hmm. Showed Angie like they're just like floating, like they're just gone. <laughs> but it's, it's not in a negative way. No, they're not moving to New York. At, at this time of great growth and transition and ascension and expansion on the earth would you say more people being born right now and in the recent years are not backdrop people like are more people that are embodying here for a purpose being born now than previously on earth yeah definitely we're showing her just this light you know being born into the planet so you Many of you call them the crystal children, rainbow children, indigos before that, all of that. But we just, you know, we, we don't really, we understand your words with the meaning that you've get, given to them. But what we've shown Angie is just a lot of light as you were talking about it, being born onto your planet, being born into these bodies that have come to the planet. So it's as if as the generations have come in and as the generations are going out, more of the negativity is going out as the, what you consider the older human beings are dying off. Mm -hmm. More of the um, old beliefs, perceptions, judge, judgments, programming, you know, all this old yuckiness is dying out as more of these children are being born onto the planet. It's like a, higher and higher generation of connection to source that's being born in. You know, it started with indigos and the issues the problems. And it, you know, it started with the waves of, you know, you being born in. Volunteers. Right. But it gets to be um it's like more source energy is coming in with each generation that's coming in. More and more source energy. Mm -hmm. You called it like okay the indigos and then you know whatever you call it, the rainbows and the crystals and but we see it as just more source energy packed into the next generation and then even more source energy packed into the next generation is how we see it wow There's more purity coming to the planet to assist the planet and they don't really have to even do anything they're just being born and just kind of walking around and experiencing life so they're bringing more source energy and spreading it out by being here. Hmm. That makes sense. It does. It's like we're helping as in any way that we can, you know, helping in different ways. And these generations being born in, these children being joined, you know, being born in is helping on a very pure source energy way with them not having to really do anything. They're just existing. Even if you look at it, even if you look at it in a little bit of an older generation, because um, we're looking down from indigos all the way down to the babies who are here now. If you look at the generation of Rachel's daughters, 22, 
her um, her child and many of her friends they don't they don't see separation as much as people who are forty and fifty years old. Hmm. For twenty years old, they they don't really see the separation in religion as much. They don't see the separation in color as much. They don't see the separation in sexual orientation as much. It's like a lot of these things are fading away with each generation in a very big way. So the children that are babies today, they just won't see any separation with anyone at all. Beautiful. We are wondering if Dolores Cannon would be willing to step forward and if she has anything she'd like to say to the collective. She's just laughing. She's saying, I'm always here with you. <laughs> And at a time to assist to, um, she, she's saying, and I'm saying assist to awaken you, but to assist to train many of you. Um, these energies, she's saying these energies came in to help me to mold this, what I came to call it QHHT over a period of a lot of time. And, and she said in my earth years, on your planet. I spent most of my life creating that and a lot of it was a catalyst from, she says, my husband's car accident. And she said, and I want to remind you through that, that she's saying, um, you see how something really bad happens and it, it helps to create something um, hugely wonderful on a massive level for many of you. To, um, I'm just feeling emotion, <laughs> feeling emotion with her speaking through me. Yeah. Uh, she's, um, she said this trauma caused just an amazing explosion of healing for many people. She said that I've trained and many people that, you know, my videos have trained and that my daughter has trained her daughter, Julia, she's talking about is trained and um, those that assist us have trained um, has really helped the planet and um, she said the many people that she said that she's I'm about to say I because she's talking she's saying that she has um, assisted to heal assisted their high selves to bring in the healing that she would call their subconscious that um, that energy that came in, um, she feels really made a massive difference on the planet. She's saying she's very thankful for that lifetime that she had here. And she's saying she's very thankful to be on this earth, that she said it was difficult. And she understands it's difficult for people. For many of you, she's saying, and she's saying she wants to re reiterate she's saying what my guidance was saying to trust that the new earth is coming here that it's all happening the way it's supposed to happen i'm just seeing i'm seeing her she's talking um just to have that trust and that faith that everything's getting better that you're right where you're supposed to be i can hear her voice <laughs> you're right where you're supposed to be at this time everything's unfolding and happening the way it's supposed to just keep faith just allow this love to just flow through you more and more and she said just know i'm here with you supporting you also and believing all of you who are who've chosen to come here to volunteer to come here to help heal and raise the planet and help heal the people let me see if there's something let me ask her if there's anything else to say she's giving thanks to all of us to who have helped who are helping and she's saying there's just bigger and better things to come that the trauma is just releasing and, and healing clearing off for for many of us for all of us she's saying so she's saying there's just bright bright wonderful beautiful days ahead um, did you, Dolores, recruit Angie and I both into quantum healing? Saying yes. 
Like, she's saying, of course, I did. She's saying, of course, on a higher level. She said, I've, she said, on a high level, I recruited everyone that came to me. It's like she's showing me like an energy opening out, like her arms are spreading out. And, and she started speaking. Um, and she started learning her her healing modality she created and then she started talking to people that it just was opening this not opening a door it was opening the healing energy around her like it was opening a portal to pull it towards her <laughs> and she's saying yeah it was just all meant to be it all just you know unfolded the way it was supposed to and it's just going to get better better and better for us on the planet she said, she said you're like my little minions <laughs> but, she said, but you're not little <laughs> Just, do you have anything else to say Dolores before we move on she said, you're strong, powerful souls. And she said, just remember that that's who you are. And she said, for the people who are new, new healers out there, she said, you're not really new healers. You're just remembering who you are. She said, just, just embody that power that you're, you're very powerful healing entities on this planet to, to help, help the planet right now. Hmm. It's a very solid, very solid, important path for each of you. Each of you, she said, are very important at this time. She said, if you're finding this information, she said, if you're not finding it, tell somebody about it, spread it around in some way that you're very important people and um, you're very loved and you're very worthy. Thank you so much, Dolores. You said, and you're very supported. <laughs> Is there any more you wish to bring forward before we move on? We just said no. Thank you. She said thank you. Thank you. I always love it when messages from Dolores come through. I hope you all enjoyed that as well. My name is Hana. I'm a Beyond Quantum Healing Practitioner in Maine in the United States, and I see people all over the world for sessions. I'm going to leave my website below, and if you have any interest in learning more about Beyond Quantum Healing or reaching out to have a session yourself, please feel free to reach out anytime. I would love to hear from you. All right, take care. Bye.